Hi, I'm Fiona Nan Curvis, and I'm going to be reading two poems that I've written for you. The first poem is called Broken World. Living in a broken world, growing up in a violent place, Gen Z is a generation that's unfurled, but we must do better. We're expected to be perfect, and that's not fair, but expecting others to be isn't either. We want apologies from those who have wronged us, but when they apologize, they don't mean it. We want to be happy and healthy, but we keep the toxic people in our lives because we are scared to hurt them. What does that say about us? We want to fix the whole world, but we don't know how far is too far, and soon there's no changing the height of the bar. We do this because we want the next generation to be happy, but how are they supposed to be happy if we are always fighting because someone is, doesn't agree with us? Why is everything such a big fuss? Not everything's meant to be mean, but we don't see what they see, and that's not how it works anymore. What's said is said, we don't care who it's for. Because we don't know what we want, and we don't care who we haunt, because you said what you said, and you did what you did, and it's never enough. That's how it works down. That's what we allow, and while we didn't create this, we feed into this, because if we're not getting offended, where does that leave us? We hear what's said, and we hear what's unspoken, but that's all expected when you live in a world that's broken. So... Thank you. On to the next poem. This poem is called Double Standards. It's about double standards. We say kill all men until those men are our uncles or our brothers, fathers, grandfathers, and friends because those aren't the men we meant. They say not all men and they are right. It's not all men, but it's 70% of women. So while it's not all men, it's almost all women. We say ACAB because police are pigs, but who will we call in an emergency if police are gone? Why should the actions of a few dictate the lives of the many? They say blue lives matter, but those very lives are the same people who are killing innocent black men in the streets. We say black lives matter, but not if there were men, because remember, kill all men, and not if they're cops, because ACAB, or if they're Republican, because they're just not right. They say all lives matter, but they kick their kids out of their house for being gay, because being gay is a sin, and they hate crime those who aren't like them. They say all lives matter, but they don't mean it. We want to be equal, but we won't let that happen. When we praise someone, we put down others. We say we hate cancel culture, but we keep canceling anyway. We do this because we feel like it's our job to fix what not, what's not fair, but we don't fix anything. We just make a bigger problem to cover up the first. We act like we don't care what people think, and that only makes things worse. Thank you for listening.